Okay, so you're probably seeing a ton of roller skating videos on TikTok and Instagram, but hey, do not call it a comeback. The roller skating culture has been around for ages. has not been dead since disco. It's alive and well here in San Diego. And although skating has had a really important place in history way before those trendy TikTok videos, the recent pandemic has helped create a new generation of roller skaters. Meet Jerry Beck, no stranger to the roller rink. I'm 52 now. I started skating at like eight, nine, and have been skating, I mean, every week since then. Spending so much of his life at the rink, now Jerry's making sure to keep the good times rolling for future skaters. And you're passing it down the generations, like your daughter skates? Oh, absolutely, like my daughter right there. I actually had a family of skating. They all grew up and she used to skate when she was 10 years old. I first started her on skates when she was two. She was in a baby carriage and she would try to get out I would be going around the rink. He taught me everything I know, so that's why we're able to skate the way we do together. Bye, see, so. Man, I've been doing that for so long, but it feels great to finally like have another community, you know what I mean, that I can join. So now that TikTok has made that, everyone you know gets to share their videos, so it's kind of awesome. And it's really awesome to see, especially at times like this, you can really tell the older generation to the newer, and it's awesome that we all get to come together and you know skate. Oh man, these things like six years old, six? Going on seven? Yes, indeed. They are beat up, but they work like a charm. It's crazy the relationship you have with a pair of skates. That's 28-year-old Derek Body, and his relationship with roller skating has been going strong for nearly seven years. People say it's dying, you know what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, new blood, new life. It was just the thing it needed, you know what I'm saying? Just to kind of bring those that have been doing it for a while now, for years, and that wanted to be known for what they do and what the art form that they cultivate, and it just gave light to that. Hi, I'm Carolee Ness, and I'm 68. What does skating mean to you these days? Therapy. Therapy and bodybuilding. I'm getting in really good shape, and I meet so many people. And in this roller world, you'll meet the best people ever because they have no airs, they're welcoming, no dress code, no age gap. I mean, everybody fits with everybody. So obviously, you can see skating is a vibrant scene in San Diego. And here at Derby United in Encanto, they want to be a place for people of all backgrounds to embrace the culture of roller skating. You pride yourself in being a space where everyone can come. I saw a 19-year-old, a 68-year-old, black, white, everyone. Absolutely. We have a safe space here. The outside world does not feel so safe right now. But in here, it does. It is a black space, a POC space, an LGBTQ space. We don't have special nights for one thing because everything is always that. You said it's a space for everyone, but klutzes included. Are you gonna teach me how to skate? Absolutely. <laughs> well, you're starting with a good foundation. Okay. And it's smart to have knee pads on because yeah. when people first learn to skate, they really need a safe way to fall. <laughs> This look good is when you add your own swag like this. Hey. 